I think it's working. Hello everyone, my name is Jesus Negrete. I am um, a youth leader at Mountain View Community Church, along with helping with our YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. So how long have I been at Mountain View? Well, I've been at Mountain View as a church for probably about like over 10 years, probably been around more like 16 or something like that, lost track of the time. I've been there since I was very young. Uh, I grew up in uh, the youth ministry uh, all my life. And um, I, uh, post graduating and, you know, going through my own stages of life, um, I decided that I also wanted to help um, raise more youth and uh, kind of help guide them in a way that would be beneficial and uh, kind of, to kind of help me continue my own walk with the Lord as well. What are my hobbies and interests? Well, much like my brother, um, who was on our last introductory video, um, I'm uh, very into video games, probably more so than he is, which is impressive, um, and also probably a problem. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, I'm very into video games. Uh, I do like me some anime. Um, uh, I don't keep up with uh, like a lot of animes, but um, it is a thing that I like. I'll try to watch like a show a season or something like that. At least keep up with like one modern anime a season. And that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Um, I also started getting my own manga collection. Um, mostly encouraged by just one particular anime that really caught my attention. And um, I really enjoyed so much so that I wanted to have like the entire uh, collection of manga volumes. So that's been very cool. Um, I also recently started trying to pick up piano and that has been Well, it's been going. Um, mostly, uh, what's it called, uh, just small lessons here and there. Mostly self-taught, uh, and that's going about as well as it could be so far. But granted, I probably could be putting more time into it. So, my testimony. Uh, well, my testimony starts uh, very young. Um, uh, I grew up in a Catholic family. Um, so, uh, but it was, um, despite me being full-blooded Hispanic, or Mexican specifically, um, I actually don't speak very much Spanish at all. Um, <laughs> so, uh, our Catholic Church was a Mexican Catholic Church, and nobody, there was no translator or anything, so I was just confused all the time. Um, it was very, uh, very daunting, and I would always just kind of beg my mom to go home and play. So, religion didn't really mean much to anything to me. Um, for like a lot of my early, early years, um, I would just see like our Virgin Mary thing hang over the kitchen or something like that, and that was pretty much it. You know, the Last Supper, all the, all the typical fanfare. And, um, then, uh, around when I was like eight or, um, like around eight years old, maybe a little bit younger, um, we started having a Jehovah's Witness come to our house, and, uh, there was a Mexican, like, older lady who spoke to my mother all the time. And then there was a younger um, lady who could speak English and um, talk to me and my older brother. Uh, George didn't pay much attention at all because he could care less. Uh, but I, what's it called, um, um, I was very interested just because of uh, multiple reasons. The primary, the primary one being um, uh, at some point she decided to tell me that God loves me and that his love is unconditional. Um, that meant a lot to me specifically for the reason that I was bullied a lot growing up as a kid. Um, it started very early and that is just kind of due to my own like timid and shy nature when I was younger. I've gotten a lot more vocal, um, but more so just to the people that I'm comfortable with. Uh, but like when I was younger I was very timid, very reserved, and um, I never fought back. I kind of just let people push me around. And uh, that included my older brother. Um, I would actively avoid trying to uh, get anybody into trouble, um, even if it came at my expense. I had actually developed a mentality where um, I was okay with other people being happy, even if it came at my expense, because I had convinced myself that that was all I was worth. Um, yeah, so my still own self-image was very poor, and um, hearing that uh, there was a God that loved me, um, that uh, his love was unconditional, it was very encouraging. It was very, it was something I needed to hear. It was definitely something I needed to hear. And, um, 
I kind of wanted to pursue that sort of relationship more. If there was someone out me that loved me like that, I wanted to give back. And, you know, knowing now there's not really anything I could give back except, you know, my continued uh, praise and all that. But um, the point is, there's nothing I have to give back. Because, you know, Jesus already paid the price. Um, I did, however, run into further problems further down the line. Um, uh, my baptism was around when I was like 10 or 12, um, thanks to the current youth pastor at the time. Um, and, um, you know, I got to witness the blessing of my brother's uh, salvation, which was, um, again, mentioned in our previous uh, introduction video. Um, where things kind of got a bit challenging for me, again, in my faith, was... Um, around the time of my father's death. And as I had mentioned before, um, I'm not strong. I don't consider myself strong, even the slightest, um, emotionally or physically for that matter. Um, and um, I don't think I ever could have uh, survived that whole experience where it had it not been for the Lord. I had actually, um, prior to my father taking his own life, um, he had... Uh, it, it was an idea being tossed around that my brother was going to go live with my father to kind of help keep him on his feet. Um, so you know, him and my dad were going to move out of the house while me and my younger brother were going to stay with my mom. Um, family is very important to me and I had developed um, a lot of really good bonds with, um, with all of my family. But my brother especially um, held, held a very special place in my heart, especially after we had patched things up um, from our younger years. Um, the, the thought of us being separated alone was enough to bring me to tears. Um, it, it was, uh, I, there was one specific night, like right after uh, the idea was pitched in my direction, um, I was up that entire night screaming my, and crying myself to sleep um, that it was too soon. I was just screaming that to myself in my bed um, as my brother was out there trying to you know, keep my dad um, under wraps as, as well. Um, so just the, just the mere thought of being separated from family was already um, intense for me. And um, you can imagine how multiplied it was when um, my father was taken from me for forever. Um, especially that, um, the fact that um, the method in which it had happened, him deciding to take himself away from us, I took that very personally. And I had, that is when I had finally started to harbor some kind of hatred in my heart. Because hatred is not an easy thing for me to hold. Um, the people who know me very, uh, very much know this. I'm not an easy person to get angry or to have any sort of grudge. Um, in fact, I can only think of like two or three times it's ever happened in my life. Um, but that had become one of them. Um, I had started to harbor hatred and um, uh, a very deep grudge against my father for, um, in my eyes, deciding to abandon us. and. To some extent, that might even still be true, but um, there was no way I would ever survive that hatred, that loneliness, that fear, that everything without um, the, the church body that I had grown up with, the church body that was there for me throughout the entirety of my grievance, the church body that was there in my family, um, like in my actual family, that they had come to, you know, you know quote scripture to me, um, to help hold me up when I was in the deepest ruts of my life and obviously the Lord himself was truly the one that was holding me up through all of those people. There's no way I would have ever survived that on my own and I, I can only thank the Lord every day for that, for being there for me when I was at my lowest.